There's a lot of things that goes on in the book of Revelation and in the end times. It's not just one thing. This is when God releases his wrath. I mean, he's been very quiet all this time waiting for us to come back to him. He's been very patient with us, long suffering even, and still people are being defiant, being disobedient, doing really crazy things turning their backs on God and just going towards the darkness and the darkness meaning that they have been influenced by the devil, by Satan and all the principalities. This could be physical beings and spiritual beings. So um, I was just, I, I just got finished watching this video about this witch who grew up being a witch, didn't know any better. Uh, so finally when she got to be of age she realized that you know this is something that's very evil that it that is like god was trying to pull her away from that darkness and rejection of the light is increasing the darkness in your life it's not a joke that the heaven like heaven and hell are real and that by the time Jesus comes, it's because he's had enough, okay? So um, when God says, that's it, that's it. There's no turning back. There's no saying, I'm sorry. There's no, please God, forgive me. Today is the time. Now is the time to repent. The Holy Spirit is going to be your personal warrior, okay? He is the one that's going to smite all these evil um, in your life that that are coming to attack you the thing that that satan wants the most is to gain as many souls away from god because it's like the the final mockery the the mockery of a, the highest level is to get all those souls because we are all made on in the image of god so the more souls he gets the more he thinks he wins because in the end he's going to lose anyway so right now he is running amok in the world and just taking 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 and if your soul is weak you don't have the holy spirit inside of you which is the 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 very spirit that fights uh, because we're made of spirit and and flesh if we don't have this the holy spirit within us that's holding us back from the flesh then there's nobody there to fight for you against flesh okay and flesh means that it is uh the result of original sin when we were born we we were born with original sin and that is what is causing us to be manipulated by by satan so in the end times uh revelation reveals to us that there's going to be a lot of catastrophic things that are happening. First, what God is going to do is take up all of the people that have died in Christ, okay? So the people that died as a Christian, the ones that are saved and but are buried are now sleeping. Their bodies are sleeping, but their spirits are in heaven, right? So, but when, when God raptures us in the end, it's all going to be in our bodies. The old body is going to be set, is going to be left behind, but our new bodies are going to arise. So when he takes up all of the, the dead in Christ, who are the Christians um, who died previously, then he takes his people, our, the remnants, us, so once he takes the remnants up with him in the clouds, then he starts tribulation. Tribulation is just the beginning of the worst of the worst of the worst punishment that God ever has. In between that, events are going to happen that are going to be the harbinger for the worst of the worst, which is eternity and an eternal fire for the people who still don't want to repent throughout the years people have tried to visualize and illustrate what this is going to look like they can try as best they can but again god said you haven't seen anything like it in our human minds that's very small 
we can't possibly visualize what this is going to look like in the end because it's going to be horrible, horrible, terrible, okay? Because this is God. This is God's wrath. It is no joke. I can get mad. I can throw things around. People can get scared of me because I'm throwing things around and I'm in, in a rage or somebody else is in a rage with a knife, wield, wielding a knife or shooting a gun. And, and that fear is nothing compared to the fear that's going to be felt at the time when all of these events are going to happen to be the harbinger for what's about to come and the, the damnation, okay? So even with that, uh, I mean, I can't, I can't imagine in my mind like how terrible this thing, I can, and I just don't know how scared and fearful people would feel. But I'm not scared because I know that when God raptures the church, us, the remnants, I am going to go up there because I love Jesus. I love God. I am saved and I know where I'm going. Okay, so that being said, uh, people are still going to be doubtful. Even after all of these things happening, they're still not going to turn back to God. And I can't. I, I can't imagine that, like all these things happening, you're still going to be rebellious, turning back, back to God. Even after they see these, there are going to be people who are still not going to come around, so to speak, okay? There are seven bulls. This is just one of the events that are going to happen, but it's a lot, okay? And if you haven't read Revelation 16, go ahead and read your Bible. Um, you can you can make a note and read this every day, just every day, in order to get your 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 soul prepared and your spirit prepared, your heart prepared for God, and to just turn back to Him, because this alone will scare. And and I and I don't mean you know turn back to god because you're scared of all these happening but there's just a feeling of peace to that you overcome when you when you know that you're not going to be part of this great wrath of god 